Mars features a lot of craters on its surface and uh, some of these craters actually can contain uh, ice which can host uh, microbial life and uh, we expect the future human missions will actually have drones that will be piloted by astronauts to expect uh, and explore the insides of uh, lava tubes in search of ice. I'm Davide Scaramuzza, I'm professor at the University of Zurich and I'm the director of the Robotics and Perception Group. In my mind, there are two sort of final frontiers in science that could go to the infinite. And one is the nature of the human mind, and the other is what is out there in the universe. My name is Leila Kinesi, and I am a cognitive neuroscientist out of the EPFL. I'm interested in this research because I think it's very important to better understand how humans and machines interact, especially in spaceflight. My name is Christian Pfeiffer. I'm a senior scientist at the Robotics and Perception Group of uh, Professor Davide Scaramuzza. With these parabolic flights, we want to get some insights about how future human missions to other planets will be able to use drones to explore the undergrounds or the surface of, of these planets. The Ingenuity helicopter on Mars is a great example. At the moment it's flown completely autonomously, but in the future there will be very challenging missions where the drones have to also go underground and this requires human intervention. And for this it's very important to understand basically how the human will behavior will react to different gravity conditions. So we are investigating human decision-making uh, under different conditions of gravity. And the idea is to determine how people handle ambiguity in uh, perception when they're subject to hypergravity and microgravity. The idea is that uh, gravity has an effect on uh, not just our bodies, but also our cognition. So we want to see how that affects decision-making processes in humans. The Swiss parabolic flights have been known for a long time, actually since 2015 at the University of Zurich, and they are a unique test platform for uh, microgravity experiments. This is the first time for my group and myself to participate in a parabolic flight, and it's a very unique opportunity to do experiments in microgravity conditions. This will help us to develop uh, technologies that makes the machines more capable and more safe to operate, and also more intuitive. At the moment, it's not really known how gravity affects the perception of human pilots. And that's why I think it's, a, it's an important step. 